I spoke with one business owner who says he not only relies on JCPenney to get folks into his store, but also to get people into the mall. I kind of love this place because it literally is a one stop shop. He's worked here since he was 14. We actually opened here in the mid 60s when the mall opened. And now Christopher Aima runs Lewis Cone. It's a suit shop with something for just about everyone. We have varsity jackets for the high school kids. Only problem, it's located in Midway Mall, which has been on a steady decline for quite some time. Once Macy's closes, the mall's done and we're still here. Once Sears closes, the mall's done, we're still here. But Thursday, we learned another one bites the dust. JCPenney is closing 18 more stores nationwide. The Midway Mall store is one of them. Without the last anchor store in an already desolate shopping plaza, Aima is praying his store is able to hold on. I consider my customers, my family members, um, I, nine, nine times out of 10 as they're walking out, grown men, I love you, Chris. And I'm like, I love you too, Tony. Back in 2017, a New York based realty group bought most of Midway. Since then, there's been almost no change, but Elyria's mayor told News 5 over the phone it's coming with or without them. She says losing JCPenney is a blow, but the city has a redevelopment plan for the mall and surrounding areas in the works. Aima says he has to see it to believe it. I've seen the stories and the ebbs and flows of we're going to come back and then we flop and then we're going to come back stronger and then we flop until then he'll keep working at his first and favorite job. My whole life was spent behind this counter. Uh, a lot of people have a high school jacket or a class ring that they remember their childhood from. I still have this living, breathing thing. Now here's a little bit more hope for Elyria. The mayor tells me in addition to revamping the mall, she also wants to add office space, family entertainment areas and hotels to this area. In Elyria, Amanda Van Allen, News 5.